Thank you for joining me here this morning. We are in the excavation at the Worthington Diamond Mine. And this is solid lamparite we've exposed. You can see how it's kind of bedded. It's got fractures along there. That helps us break up. That's natural, but uh, helps us break up that solid volcanic rock. This really is hard stuff, but when we run it through the plant, it's more like dirt because as we scrape it with the excavator and skid steer, it breaks up into little chunks. Now here, we'll look at it just a moment. Here's some that hadn't broken up and that's solid. And then this has just like turned to dirt and that runs through the plant real well. So the diamonds are in all of this stuff and we need to break it up to release them out of here. And uh, we, Mac brings the skid steer up here and scoops up a half ton load each time. And he can bring me 10 loads in an hour. So that's five tons in an hour. Uh, he scoops out of this pile and uh, he comes down this ramp and scoops right in there and brings me a big overflowing load of lamparite and this tumbles around in there and releases the diamonds and jigs it and finds the diamonds. So we've got a lot more ore in here to process and uh, we're working on it. Like I said, about five tons an hour. So uh, I wanted to look at something we talked about in an earlier video. And in through here, I was showing you some dinner size, uh, it looked like dinner plate size um, things. And I was trying to figure out what it was. And I think there were hydrothermals here and mud bubbles. So I'm gonna take a little closer look at this. Um, this is really hard, like concrete. And uh, this is a piece of it that he has scraped off, you know, and, and rolled down in there. Um, scraped it with a skid steer. Anyway, this is really hard. Now, if this suspected mud bubble from the hydrothermals is barite, it will not effervesce with muriatic acid. You can buy a gallon of this at your local hardware store. This is a diluted hydrochloric acid. But um, muriatic acid will, will not do anything to barite. So if this is a barite vein, it won't do anything. If this is calcite, it'll effervesce like uh, Alka-Seltzer in water. So let's put some muriatic acid on there and see what it does. Well, nothing. <laughs> it's just like putting water on it. Now, this might be a little different. Let me, let me uh, try it with the muriatic acid. Oh yeah, see what I mean? It's like boiling boiling but the other did not so that's interesting this acid is is uh, breaking down the calcite the calcium carbonate and, uh, anyhow just an experiment I thought we'd give it a try so uh, it may be a barite vein but that other thing is is calcite I'll uh, try to get zoomed in here and maybe put a little more on that. I won't pick it up and hold it in my hand and pour acid over it so you can see it better. I'll just leave it on the ground. But look, look at how that boils. I'm not breathing the air. That wouldn't be good. And we're outdoors where we can get fresh air. But anyhow, I just thought I'd show you just kind of a science experiment. And uh, thanks for joining me here this morning.